you talked about entrepreneurs being observant. Um, with that skill, is it are listening skills important? Probably the most important thing is listening. God gave you two ears and one mouth, so you have to listen twice as much as you talk. So you sit out there and you listen to all these things that are going on and all those things. I told you, you join, let's look at what happens. You join the association IEEE and you hear everyone talking about what's going on. If you're a non-technical person like me, my degree is in business and an MBA in finance. I know much about engineering as most engineers today. I joined all these things and I absorbed all the stuff that engineers could do. You know, I mean, because I got embarrassed in a lot of things in my life. You know, when we were first started doing integrated circuit design, they told me we were going to a foundry. Well, I had worked in a foundry. I dressed in all this shit clothes, and I went there, and they made me wear a clean suit and booties and everything. I'd never been in one before. But I went to the library, and I started reading all about integrated circuits, so I knew as much about integrated circuits as anyone else did. I couldn't design one, but I knew how everything worked. I knew the gates. I knew everything. I could talk the language when I talked to somebody. But I never tried to overwhelm somebody with the knowledge I had. My way of always getting someone to do to open up is to let them talk and brag about what their accomplishments are. Everybody likes to talk about what they do. You know, so you let them talk about those things. A good example of that is, and tough people, I like tough people. A good example of that is I was selling computer design systems and we went to a place in Ohio, in Toledo, Ohio, called Owens, Illinois. They made bottles. And the general manager was one of the toughest guys that everyone said. I, I went in with my salesman, the sales manager, and the national sales manager. Everybody said, we can't get this guy to do anything, man. You know, we got the natural solution for him, but he's one tough guy. I walked in, the guy started on me. You know, what are you here for? What are you doing? Tell me why I should buy all this stuff. And I put a can on the table and said, what do you guys make here? He said, bottles. Are you so stupid you don't know where bottles? I said, then why is every soda machine have cans in it? He turned down the phone, called his general superintendent and says, empty all those machines and want bottles in the machines. We became instant friends. But I listened to what he had, the problem he had. And he had a problem. How do I make sure that the can or bottles don't fall off a shelf that we built? And that's how we came up with the first software for volume and center of gravity. So we had to take a program and write a program so it didn't fall off those things. And he told us what the formula was, so all we had to do was Fortran program it. And that's how you listen to people.